The passage suggests that the history of criminal law in early modern England differs from the history of civil law during this, that same period, and that the history of criminal law. Now, we go back to the passage and we see that as far as civil law is concerned, the author asks in the line number four, why then, so I'm going back to line number four, he asks, why then has it taken so long for historians to focus systematically on the civil law? He goes on to say then in line number 10, yet the complexities that confront those who would study such materials are not wholly different from those recently surmounted by historians. And so they say, ah, surmounted, overcome by historians. They recently overcome these obstacles in which field? Ah, the study of criminal law. So we know that criminal law is an area that is more widely studied by historians, which is answer choice B. Now, do not get tricked here with answer choice E. It says, does not require the mastery of an extremely formal system of procedures. It says that they both, if you look back here, line number 10, master an extremely formal system of pleading and procedure. That applies to both criminal and civil law.